man. <laughs> What's up, y'all? We just snuck in. No intro. What is up? No <laughs> intro. No intros. We're just here. We just in here. the house. Yeah, we decided here. to just go ahead and sneak in on you because uh, mm-hmm. we missed y'all last week. It's been a stressful week. Things were swaying. It went so crazy it made my hair white. <laughs> That video uh, shoot was fun. Work. Last last week we were doing a video shoot and we had all kinds of good intentions about coming out and doing a, a team stream. But, you know, stuff. We got tired, man. Well, yeah, and, and I mean, we were we were on a farm, so, like, the internet was not so much internet. Yeah, it, was, it, was more, it was more horses and, and chickens and stuff. And, and, and goats. goats. Yep. The Wi-Fi was trash. <laughs> yeah. We did tape a podcast, but <laughs> which actually just turned out to be more just about an hour and a half of me ranting and raving like a lunatic. I thought that's what a podcast was. Yeah, you know what? You're right. You are right about that. Um, excuse me. Why is this thing that YouTube.com slash Gangster Guys might be temporarily down? Is that true? Is it what happened? Nope. I'm trying to. Did you spell it right? I, get it. It. Now, I have it uh, set up to go directly to it, and it's like, nope. Nope. You know, do it. But, you know, it might be my internet being trash. Who knows? Nope. That one's working. Hey. There you go. What up, party? Bitch? Um. But no, the, the 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 podcast that we that we did was there was some dope audio involved in that and hopefully someday you guys will hear some of that because it was it was a lot of fun we had fun doing it um it was a work of staggering genius yeah <laughs> and then we watched two goofy movies or one but, and a half not, depending on which no, one of us you one are. and a half goofy movies <laughs> but not the goofy movie no mm-hmm. i really enjoyed ricky stanicki so much that i have now watched it six times since <laughs> since we we left it's actually pretty darn good i just keep yeah, watching it ridiculous. over and over and over again <laughs> that movie is ridiculous i really like it somebody need we need to we really need to give john cena his flowers because john cena is amazing that dude is amazing he's hilariously funny um and he 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 really needs to get his props because that dude is just nuts, man. He's absolutely insane. And I feel like if 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 he doesn't get his props, we we're we're all missing out. He already should have gotten an Oscar for his performance in Trainwreck. Yes. Yo, Trainwreck. He was amazing, yeah. dude. Yo, and oh the, and him and LeBron. Yeah, yeah, both of them in that were were pretty wild. But your yo, your man was tripping. He was absolutely tripping in that movie. It was hysterical and yeah, yeah. John Cena in train wreck was Yeah. He looked like a dude. <laughs> yo, um, man. Athletes that turn out to be hilarious. What you got? Uh Charles Barkley. Mm-hmm. He even, he's not even trying. He's not even trying. That dude's just <laughs> funny because he's a lunatic. Wait, a what lunatic. kind of what kind of athlete was John Cena? John Cena was a wrestler. Oh. Huh. Yeah, he was a. Uh, he was in the whole uh, WWE. Yeah. Uh, and still turns up every now and again, and you know shows up and beats up folks. Like him and The Rock will just show up every now and again and and get down and. And you know the Rock has his Rock has his funny moments. Yeah. Can, oh no, the Rock is a funny dude as well. Yeah. He's he's a pretty funny guy as well. Um, yeah. They the two of them together. I I, I need to see them in, in a. Wait, they were what were they in together? They were in I think Fast and the Furious Nine. I think no. Wait, was it, wait Cena was no, in that one. It was some. Um, I think it was Fast and the Furious 26. 26. Cena, Cena showed up in 9 as Dom's brother. He did? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
he's Dom's brother. I don't know. I didn't see uh, all of them. I, I think and then I they know. were, he was trying to kill them, and then he's not anymore. Um, <laughs> you know, the interesting thing about the Fast and Furious is that eventually they become friends with everybody that's been trying to kill them. <laughs> Like they kill all, they they murder more henchmen than, but then they start working together. Like Hobbs and Sh- Hobbs was trying to catch them because he was a cop. Shaw was a criminal, and he was after something or whatever. And they wound up fighting a bunch of times. And then they wound up working together in the last movie. And then yo, they like everybody. I think other than uh, what's the guy that passed away? This is Paul. what every movie summary sounds like to me. And then there was this thing, and then there was this guy who's not a guy anymore, and mm-hmm. I've never seen a single Fast and Furious movie. Paul Walker is his name. Yeah, Paul yeah. Walker, before he before he passed away, um, like, everybody that has shown up in those movies, I don't know that any of the major yeah. well, here's, villains uh, ever Sorry died. for the spoiler sleeves, but here's what you need to know about the Fast and the Furious. Bruce Willis was dead the whole time. Wait a minute. I did see that movie. And <laughs> and the best part about that was I didn't see that movie until like last year. And I managed to keep the spoiler away from me for all that time. <laughs> mm. I, don't I don't remember what that movie that. was. Seven, was it? No. The Sixth Sense. Th- that's basically the same thing. <laughs> you know, same thing. Really not. No. Really not. Six, seven, same thing. <laughs> it's one number apart. I stand They're by almost that. Almost like identical. Yeah. I mean, no, I understand. I Sleeves six, believes that. Seven cents. See, Sleeves believes that numbers are interchangeable and none of them are special. Six times. So. uh that's funny. But six times seven is forty-two, which is special. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I took a picture. Yeah. There was a hundred and thirty-seven. Um, written on the sidewalk for some reason today and i did take a picture of that now why is 47 special or 42 special 42 is special because it's the answer to life the universe and everything that's a hitchhiker's guide i thought that was 43 stop don't be ridiculous get out of here with your trash talk i thought it was seven (laughs) (laughs) seven may well be i thought 42 was special because it was jackie robinson number that's also exactly. a great reason. That might be the reason why, why it's the answer to life, the universe, and everything, in fact. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. Salute Jackie Robinson. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like that man so much, I named the kid after him. Mm-hmm. I haven't met little <laughs> Jackie yet. I have not either. I don't know. All of my kids' names started with A. His name is Aki. No. Um... <laughs> No, it's Wait. Alex's middle name. Alex's middle name is Robinson after Jackie Robinson. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Wait, only because you said it. Ah, I can't even show it. I oh. hate when the camera does that. Yeah, you know a kid named Aki? No, oh, Aki. Ah! I got a can of Aki right here. Aki and Solfish. Mm-hmm. Yum. Funny Yum. story. I have no idea what Aki is. It's a fruit. I have no clue. It's what? fruit okay i appreciate that thank now i know i i've heard heard it be talked about never had it i've heard of it and like yeah i can't tell fish yes yeah, so, okay sure yeah it's a, uh, it's, a, it's a jamaican fruit that you prepare with salted cod meat as you as you stood up there dolio i noticed the shirt you're wearing which is um the bluegrass museum and hall of fame yep yeah yep and I feel like they would be interested in the Gangsta Grass single that's coming out on Friday. Yes, they I would. think they would as well. Mm-hmm. I really do. Yes. It so is quite grassy. For those mm-hmm. who don't know yet, the that's the variety. one that has a co-write with the father of Bluegrass himself, Bill Monroe. What? Wait a minute. <laughs> A.K.A. Trill Monroe. Trill Monroe. A.K.A. <laughs> I, 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 my hope is that That's we enough. can get to uh, some of his people because I want them, I want their reaction to us just renaming that man. <laughs> like, nope. 
he's Sher Monroe now. <laughs> so that song is called Up High, Do or Die, and that is coming out on Friday. You will be able to stream it everywhere on Friday. We already mm-hmm. um uh, already did do like a, a limited download only release of that in the UK, mm-hmm. but this now it's going to be for everybody. So you'll get that yeah. brand new music video and and everything. And um, speaking of music videos, so we were in Winchester, Virginia. Check out the Winchester Stars story about Gangsta Grass coming to Winchester to uh, film a music video. So what was it? What was your? What were some of your highlights? From that um, well there was an adult sized big wheel that we got to do skids on yes that is. and now i kind of want one yeah that was quite fun um i i made a new friend <laughs> by the name of sky mm-hmm. an equestrian horse. friend yeah big old horse mm-hmm. that i guess was a little bit intrigued by my rhyming so it just moseyed on over and started jumping on bouncing and <laughs> with a brother that was pretty fun mm-hmm. and we had some really good barbecue good barbecue mm-hmm. met some really goats good. Met, some, uh, met, some, met some trucks including a, truck. uh, a, a baller ass dump truck oh my gosh that thing was so cool and the grill Shout says the, the grill says dice mayhem which turns out to be yes. someone's actual name yes that's actually hunter's kid yeah, the name Dice of Mayhem a, is the child. name. Is Dice there's Mayhem. A, there's a child in Virginia with the name Dice Mayhem, aka coolest kid ever. <laughs> yeah, like just the idea yeah. of naming your child mm-hmm. Dice Mayhem. Like, come on. Yeah. Come on. You That's win. Either, right. It sounds like a rapper or some awesome game that you play in a casino. <laughs> yeah, or a game character. Right. Like it's like some, uh, yeah, I don't know. I but like we were like, actually shooting like... the video for the next single after the one that's coming out on Friday. So uh, you got you got lots of stuff coming. Yeah, we got, we've been putting stuff in the camp for you guys. Well, wait a minute, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> we have a request been... uh, in the YouTube chat. La Chine and Vrad de Joel uh, wants us to uh, do a unison note all together Ooh. are you so are you ready wait it says unison mm-hmm. chord though does that mean yeah, all do the I, same note or that means do the, yeah do the that harmonies? means the same note it could be an octave up or down but it's the same note okay mm. right here I think it might only be allowing one of us to yeah, have our audio come through it at yeah. once, so maybe not. I think that's the way that the, uh, the zoomy zooms work. My bad. It, it's also sparing you from the, uh, from the madness. Wait a minute. From the madness of it. Although... This is Paul Walker's greatest film was Running Scared. Mm-hmm. Huh? Wait a minute. Are we talking yeah. about the same Paul Walker? Or did they remake Running Scared? Yeah, Running Scared was the movie with Billy Crystal and Gregory Hines, wasn't it? Yes. Did they remake that movie? I don't know. That's I'm confused about that. That was I saw that. I was like, wait, Running Scared. Was oh that the gosh. name of the movie? Oh my gosh, they did remake it. With who? Oh, wait a minute. They didn't remake it. They just made a whole new movie called Running Scared. It has nothing to do with the original. Oh, okay. All right, good. I was like, Paul Walker and who? Was Paul Walker playing? I will kill you. Get off my comic books, cat. He Reason. will not That's actually kill his that, that cat. That took a sharp turn. Just, just for the record. Sorry. No cats will my be cat murdered. My cat was trying to eat one of my comic books. That'll, that'll get you left outside. For the record, no cat is getting left outside. Our son is a good is a good cat dad, just like he's a good kid dad. <laughs> I'm curious, Bob said that your hair yeah, said their hair Cats. looks like uh, your your judge wig. Hey, look, man, you know life is stressful. I had to, you know, had to, things had things got a little bit wild, and <laughs> should I went, we uh, should we hey, say why our son hey, has this wig on? Yes, yes, yes. 
So, um, we were talking, we've been, you know, spending a lot of time dealing with 2024 America, which is like all the rest of America. Yo, it's mad racist out in the streets. <laughs> like crazy racist in the streets. And so I just want to make sure that folks know how racist stuff is. And, well, it is and so because uh, I think also, you know, in, in, a, in a country that had so much racism in our past that led to uh, various phrases, songs, customs, uh, you know, it, the line does get kind of blurry. Facts. So it might, we, we might need somebody to clarify for us. Whether or not stuff is racist or not. That is the and question. So, and so, uh, our son has been duly appointed by the... Racism judge. As a racism judge. <laughs> I have my own wig and my own gavel. And I shall be determining what things are racist and what things are not. Mm-hmm. Spoiler alert. Most of them will be <laughs> racist. <laughs> now, I'm going to give you a chance. I'm going to give you a shot. I'm gonna hope, mm-hmm. My hope is that we can, uh, you know, keep ourselves as, as a country as uh, not going too wild. But, I mean, y'all. Oh, you make it so easy for me. You make so, it really uh, easy for me to do, declare stuff as racist. Yeah. So folks can ask in the chat if they want to submit a query uh, as to something that they want a verdict on, whether it's racist. Hey, by all means, by all means. I, because I want folks to be able to understand. I want y'all to, you know, people mm-hmm. are... Uh, People don't know, you know, they're, they're not sure these days. Like, is this racism? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Maybe. It's... I'll tell you what. We will let you know. Mm-hmm. Okay? That is why I'm here right now as your racism judge. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was yeah, sworn in. You got, the, you got your gavel and everything. The Honorable our son presiding. Uh, and uh, one of us can kick it off. Anybody got a... I think it should be uh, you, Wrench. Please, okay. please present my, the inaugural my first case. The inaugural submission to... Uh, <laughs> is it racist? Uh, Your Honor, you, yes. are you familiar with um, a group in Star Wars called Tusken Raiders? I am indeed. Now, is it racist when Obi-Wan Kenobi calls them sand people? Um... No, no, because if he had called them sand niggas, that would be racist. But they are the people that live out in the sand, sand people. <laughs> I'll let that one slide. Hmm. Obi-Wan Kenobi, not racist. Uh, I kind of feel like it's at least, at very least, it's ambiguous. I mean, he could have made the effort to find out who they were and got the name Tusken Raiders and all that kind of stuff. Now, Raiders might be, because I don't know how much they're doing. I don't watch how much raiding they're doing. Mm. If you watch uh, Book of Boba Fett, they was just out there chilling, doing Mm -hmm. their thing. And what about the And then anybody that they encountered that was probably the Empire Mm -hmm. determined that they was Raiders, and therefore, since they didn't look like them, that might have been racist. Tusken Raiders? Racist. Sand people, not racist. Hmm. Well, that's a surprise twist. But does, does the, is the, okay. All right. They're just people in the sand. <laughs> what about Jawas? Yeah, I mean, Don't Jawas Jawas are in just the Jawas. Sand? They just little people in the sand. Now, if he had called Jawas sand midgets, then, you know, then there'd be a problem. But he didn't. They just Jawas. They have a name for their their culture. They're called Jawas. I'm a defense Star Wars to my death, so <laughs> unbiasedly, of course, because I'm a judge. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What else you got? Right. That was easy. Dolio, you have uh, something about a 
nursing student? Yeah, uh, nursing student um, Asa Blanton uh, from Indiana State University. We kind of went on a rant recently um, showing extreme disdain for um, Beyonce's new album. Mm -hmm. Had to have, happened to have a few colorful remarks uh, about. This, this sounds like it's not going to be that hard to decide. <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm thinking that there might be sufficient enough um, testimony on her uh, by by the uh, summary judgment herself <laughs> to reach a summary ju judgment. Mm -hmm. Asa Blanton, should racist. I say? Yeah, so okay. very <laughs> racist. All of the racist. Oh my God, racist. Good Lord Jesus, racist. Racists are like, wow, that was really racist. And she's getting awards. She got an honorable clan membership. They said, you know what? Come hang out. Oh, so racist. I heard David and Duke even... heard, read, listened to her video and was like, dang, she didn't have to go that hard. Yeah, right? Like, really, girl? Oh, damn. Why you, why you have to be like... Like, it's Beyonce. Like, even racist Beyonce fans were like, look here, girl. I'm not sure you can say that about about the queen mm -hmm. and her people. Yeah, that was, that was, yeah, so racist. And if you don't know, just do yourself a favor. Google the name Asa Blen. That poor dipshit is now, like, you're yes. Googleable. When you're Googleable, you know you said some dumb shit. And so, uh, you know what? I'm not, I can't feel bad for you. I don't, uh, you, yeah, you she's, did that. It's going to end up in the Hall of Shame right next to Brock Turner. You did that. Oh, that fucking guy. Yeah, you did that. Your your name is Googleable. You're, I, and I, I, you know, my hope is that we change the name of Karens to Aces. Because I've known a couple <laughs> Karens in my life that were wonderful people. Yeah. One of my favorite people in the world, my friend Karen Fitzgerald. She's an absolute gem. Love her to death. But I don't know. Wonderful. That, don't might, do not that, work. Me, that might not work because, you know. Yeah, that's right. No, yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay, we can't do that. All right. Uh, not to mention but the if man. You say maybe Ace of Lantern is one word. <laughs> okay. My, uh, my uh, 10 year old asked me about Karen's today. Really? Yeah. What did he ask? I, 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 I got to know what this is. <laughs> uh, we this were thing? reading a, uh, a book series called Dragon Masters. And he said, that dragon kind of looks like a, uh, what's it called? A, a, a Kirin? What is it? I'm like, what do you tell me what you're trying to name? He's like, you know, they're kind of racist and they complain. I have to talk to the manager. And uh, I said, yeah, that's a Karen. Uh, <laughs> what does a Karen dragon look like? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Ah, all right. When this is over, you need to find that book and you need to show me a picture of yeah, a maybe I can... Karen dragon because maybe I can, my uh... mind is boggled that is some 10 year old wisdom right there that dragon looks racist are there racist dragons I'm well okay so let's see as a D&D &D guy all the dragons are all different colors and maybe I don't know maybe the the white dragons are like the frost dragons right that's their breath weapon is, 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 is frost. So maybe they think they're better than the black dragons whose breath weapon is acid. Now the red dragons, obviously they're fire, right? Blue is lightning. Green is, uh, what's green? Yes. Green is like, is like a venom, like a poisonous gas mm -hmm. sort of thing. Uh, this is the dragon in question. Oh my God, he's totally right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yes, that dragon is definitely looking for the manager, <laughs> ignoring its dragon privilege and just <laughs> wanting to speak to the manager. 
And, and Where's what the dungeon is the, master, uh, as it were? What is Where the, is is the it racist? I would like to speak to the dungeon master, please. Uh, so what is the, uh, what's the, is it racist uh, judge verdict on a, uh, a dragon being a Karen? Uh, absolutely racist. A, so a much Karen, Karen dragon. in that dragon. So much Karen in that a, dragon. A, a drag Karen. The drag Karen. <laughs> drag Karen. <laughs> yes. Yes. Absolutely. Oh my God, that thing. Right. Yeah. Let's see if we have any uh, submissions in the chat. Anybody want to try somebody. submitting something to the, is it racist uh, judge? It was something, wait, where'd it go? Where'd it go? There was something. Oh, in yeah, the... John, John Jaramillo says, uh, I'm always going to pronounce it like that. I don't care. Uh, he said the Trade Federation dudes, that oh, was racist. They so have. racist. Oh, God. Yes. He... Right. Now, I, I knew somebody that was working at Skywalker Ranch uh, during the making of uh, those mo the, the movies. Mm -hmm. And uh, she said that everybody was telling uh, George Lucas, like, don't do this. Please don't do that. And he was like, no, it's fine. It's fine. And you know what? Again... Part of me, he, like, it takes a lot yeah. of years. Oh, yeah. Of love and Lucas. The Federation dudes, John, and, um, uh, the, Dun the, 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 was it the Dungans? What did we call? Oh, the Gungans. Gungans. Oh, okay. Yeah. Jeez. And the, uh, the, uh, Hagler, uh, market dude with the big nose yeah. and the yeah. Jewish yeah. accent. Gosh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was, that was, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Randy Reese is in the uh, What's up, Randy? chat on YouTube. What's up, Randy? We've got some new uh, shirts probably uh, coming out uh, featuring some of your artwork again because you've given us so many bangers. And Shout uh, out. Uh, Randy has a good question is in terms of wondering if uh, maybe uh, Eastern and Western images of dragons were different because yeah. they were finding different dinosaur bones in those areas yeah Ooh. maybe maybe yeah. okay yo um we got a shout out in in um the the twitch from italy italy yeah are we allowed to say anything yes, about that that's yet? announced we are very excited hey. to be uh headlining i want to say it's the friday night of the Montelago Celtic Festival. Um, not entirely clear on exactly where that is, but I know Rome is the closest airport, so hopefully that's helpful. Mm -hmm. That's right, Gangster Grass is coming to Italy. Italy! Italy. That's right. From a time in Italy. Italy. Yay. Y'all don't we are know going to, We're going to come back with a lot of weight on us because mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but I'm planning to eat a lot of good food. Oh, oh yeah. All the pasta. Give me all the pasta. All of it. I didn't like Italian all food until I went to Italy and had it there, and I was like, oh, wow, this is actually really good. Mm -hmm. You know what I was... Uh, wait, wait, where'd that go? Where'd that go? There was a... Uh, do, 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 uh, Le Chant de Rock de Joel. Mm -hmm. Uh, recently decoded images from ham radio operators in the U.S. and surprised to see a man sending KKK images. Hold on. You were surprised? Wait. Wait. Hold on. It's in Maserata. I, I'm not sure. I might be <laughs> macerating that name. <laughs> but, um, um, How do you... the province of Maserata. It's uh, kind of near Palermo, right? Yeah. Uh, it says, Sierra Valle de Quiente. I'm sorry, I don't speak Italian yet. Yeah, mm -hmm. he will. Uh, Benjamin, Benjamin Southard is submitting okay. uh, for the yeah. Is It Racist Judge uh, a question about whether you're familiar with R.A. Salvatore's series about Drizzt the Dark Elf. The Dark Elf. I have uh, read some stuff about uh, Drizzt and the Dark Elves. Um... I mean, all right, so 
if you go by the idea of how elves are portrayed, and, and there's the weird thing about elves, right? So, you got uh, Lord of the Rings elves, which um, were all blonde in the Wait, movies. I was going to ask, was More, that like described in the book, or is that just a choice they made in the well, movies? I, I, I'm not sure how they were all. The, I don't know that they described them all in the in the books, but I know on the show, the Amazon show, Rings of Power, there are several black elves, right? <laughs> um. So then, if you look at, uh, like Harry Potter, for example, elves are an entirely different race of beings, and they're little midgety, little little tiny guys that are with like. You ever see, uh, what's the, Dobby. what's the guy? Dobby. Dobby. Dobby's an elf, <laughs> right? So whole different range of, of elfery, right? So D&D elves were probably a little bit closer to what about Lord of the Rings elves. Elf Quest elves. Who, what, what elves? Elf Quest. Yeah, like, yeah, they're a little bit, well, yeah. What and we're... I don't know that they were all evil, but I don't know that Drizzt himself is a, is a good example of racism. Um, so I do. I would like to encourage the use of Elvery. 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 <laughs> um, so. I'm going to say it's not racist. Not racist. Wait, the the controversy of the what? The Hadozi? I am a I I played D and D for years. What's this, what's the controversy about the Hadozi? What's a Hadozi? Break it down for me, John. I need to know. I got to learn these things. Mm -hmm. to, 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 you know, to be a good oh. racism judge. Hadozi, also known as deck apes. Or winged deck apes, simian humanoids yeah. with distinctive adagia. Deck apes. Hmm. All right, we're gonna look this up. Uh, dozy. Dozy. Uh, dozy. <laughs> we might have to report back on that one. Known for being master mariners and master mariners famous for their and sailing skills and love their ships in the sea. Deck ape. That sounds like a slur. It really does. <laughs> it does. It does sound like a slur. Um, sounds like now. something. Sounds like something a racist would call a black skateboarder. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, it it sounds a little to... bit too close to Porsche Monkey, actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It does feel like they just sort of did a synonym replacement, right? On that, right? It took okay, not porch. It's deck. <laughs> okay, so I think no. I, I'm going to uh, Hadozi. I'm looking. I'm looking at them now. Uh, not racist. Oh, objection, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, okay. So, okay. So here's why. Here's why. This is why. If I think that would that's assuming the the sort of nature of the uh, uh, ah, you know how, how like the all right. So remember the the, the term NASA. Who? The term NASA, I sent it to you the other day in uh, in Twitter. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I... NASA's yeah. another racial slur that we discovered. Yeah, they, yeah, <laughs> they're, they're, yeah, they're for, coming up with whole new ones now. It's ridiculous. It stands for North American Street Ape. And, huh. and I feel like, I feel like anything ape is sort of thrust upon us, right? Mm -hmm. Because of because racists are bored, and so now you can't even when you're uh, like 
there are um, in D and D there are like uh, half dragon people, right? And there are half all sorts of people, and there's where all sorts of where creatures and whatever. But as soon as something like you can't use the the animal being that's closest to the human in any sort of human sort of morphing thing without assuming that it's black, right? And Which is that's... funny because it's it's people who are who have a considerable amount of Neanderthal DNA making that analogy. Exactly. So the idea of creating an entire race of beings that are close to apes, right? But you know, in between, assuming that there's you know, assuming the racism of that to me feels worse than just creating like, all right, well, what if we made, uh, you know, have fish people, right? You know what I mean? What are they? Like what race are they? You know what I mean? Like it feels like you, it, 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 it numb. (laughs) Exactly. So this is just apes. These are just eight people. They ain't got nothing to do with me. That's got nothing to do with me. Which is why, which is fascinating. All right, so if you think about uh, the movie Black Panther, right? Uh, uh, Mbaku, the character Mbaku, in the comics was originally his name was Man Ape. Yeah, he had he had skin like like he wore the pelt of this white ape, and he had super strength and all this other like. Okay, the motherfucker lived where there was white apes at. His skin won, and it gave him superpowers. Mm-hmm. If it was like, I don't, I, I, I feel like I would have been able to let that go. If they had, if the character's name had been Man Ape in the movie, I would have been able to let it go. Until one of these knuckleheads walk up to you and start calling you Man Ape. Well, then you get punched in the mouth. <laughs> right. So let this be a PSA uh, to anybody out there, in case uh, you weren't aware. Um, doing anything uh, connected racially and uh, putting monkey or ape in the mix is not a good idea. Not the best I idea. Recommend the best idea. avoiding it now that you know. <laughs> I I personally like in these two cases the 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 Haramadam Damadams whatever the name what names again the Har <laughs> The Hadozi, the Hadozi. In the case of the Hadozi, and uh, Mbaku the man ape, not racist. Mm-hmm. You could he, he could have come out in that movie as man ape, and as a comic book guy, I would have got it. And right. the rest of y'all. But the thing is, is that that the cinematic universe was not made for comic comic book people. No, it was not. Nope. For the rest of y'all, and so, I mean, okay, cool. Mbaku is an amazing character, probably one of the, the one of the best characters in the entire in the entire MCU. Um, you know, extraordinarily played, hilarious. Um, they nailed it, completely nailed it. Yeah. Um, it wouldn't have bothered me in the slightest. We have a, a off topic, uh, but important question in the Twitch from Panda Tongue uh, about uh, coming back to Kentucky to play again Lexington Kentucky is May 20th May 20th May 20th Lexington Kentucky get your tickets now they are less than $15 with all the fees included it is an 18 and over show which sadly means you can't bring the kids but happily means our son can curse as much as he wants (laughs) Fuck yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're in Somerset, well. Somerset, yeah. Okay. Hey, we Somerset. had a great time in Somerset. Oh, when we were in Somerset. Yes. I don't know how far that is. Somerset like, where we, is Somerset is where we took over the, 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 the mayor's, mayor's office. office. <laughs> yeah, we took over the mayor's <laughs> office. In, in, We've taken over a lot of mayor's offices. Yeah, I think right, we also, that doesn't narrow it down. I think you were a chief of police for a good 30 minutes. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> man. Oh, that was great. That was, that was fantastic. Great. I love that spot. Somerset was awesome. 
Shout mm-hmm. out to those guys. Yeah, they, they showed us mad love. Yes, yes. So come on out. If it's a road trip, that's cool. But come on out to uh, Lexington, Kentucky. And it's a, it's, it's a Monday. It, because it was rescheduled um, from when the snow happened back in January, uh, it, is, mm-hmm. it is a Monday night show. So gonna be going to be nice and, and chill, but also fantastic. Come on out to uh, Manchester Music Hall, is it? I think that's right. Right. Yeah. yeah. And the kitty, uh, sign, uh, go to Gangster, uh, hit us up on um, our socials um, if you want the actual information about our appearance in Italy, because we will be there in August. August. Yep, August Start of 2nd. August. We'll be there in August. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. It's going to be great. Uh, okay, any other uh, queries while we have the Is It Racist Judge <laughs> present? <laughs> Well, I had a follow mm-hmm. a follow up query on the um, mm-hmm. on the monkey ape situation. Mm-hmm. Um, go, go for it. So uh, the Joko Cruise, which um, you know, as you know, I've 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 been on a, a few times. Um, uh, musician Jonathan Colton and um, the the people who were on the cruise for the first many many years that the cruise existed were called they called themselves sea monkeys. You know, from the from the little critters mm-hmm. in the back of yeah, of I the remember magazines. sea monkeys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, they were they were on sea. A lot a lot of them were code monkeys, which is another you know common mm-hmm. term um, as far as uh, you know people who do coding for a living. I don't know that that had anything to do with it, but um, but it's it's certainly there's a there's definitely a lot of crossover in that Venn diagram. Um, so uh, so so Joko cruisers called sea monkeys. A couple of years ago, they changed it because they were worried it was racist. Um, and they changed it to, I want to say, Joko Knots or something like that. Um, was Sea Monkeys racist? No. Sea Monkeys, not racist. Because that what that is, that's white people assuming that we give a shit enough about the word monkey in general. Like, oh, right. you, you can't even say the word monkey. I don't give a fuck about the word monkey. That don't mean nothing to me. Unless you say it directly to my face. Unless you see me on a boat and they'd be like, what are you doing on this boat, sea monkey? Okay. So that may be the situation they're trying to avoid. Um, but I don't none know, of them ha- is black. <laughs> Ain't none of them, none of them people are black. Uh, hey, well, not, that, not okay, so, one of the people you named was black. So the, 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 where the awareness came from um, was from uh, a joke in a set by the amazing comedian. Check her out if you have not seen her. She's got a special on Peacock, Joyelle Nicole Johnson. And she made a joke in her set about how... I'm frozen. That's okay. We can <laughs> still we... hear you. You're frozen in a hilarious position, is. but we can this still is what that is. hear you. That <laughs> is, and, you know, God bless him. God bless them. I love them. I do love me some liberal white folks. That is my dear liberal white friends taking shit a little bit too seriously. No, and it's, no, it's about taking trivial stuff too serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, but, not take, but not taking the serious stuff serious. We never really cared about what stuff is being called. Where we, where we really care about what is being done. So that's why all this performative outrage happens, but nothing actually changed. It, to, you, to quote the great everybody, you can say what you want. Just spell my name right. right. Um, and it, it, yeah, it's, I, I can't. I, I'm not. I'm not worried about that. Yeah. Say what you want. Yeah, uh, Sea Monkey is one of the things where if you want to, if at, <laughs> I, although I'm that way with most words, you can say whatever you want. The thing that you need to worry about is the consequence of saying those things. Mm-hmm. Right. You could yeah. say it. But just to just to uh, try to put myself in, in their heads for a minute, I think the worry, even though it was a joke in the comedian set, is that it was, you know, one of those jokes that has a greater truth to it and that maybe somebody, uh, this black, would come on the cruise and be like, I don't know about calling myself a sea monkey. 
That's a great joke. It's a great joke. I love it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the joke is, is, is definitely great. great joke. But we got uh, beloved barnstormer Jam Forty Two in the Twist chat uh, yeah. with uh, with a question uh, about uh, white people with dreads. Submitted to the is it racist judge for consideration. I, I don't. I don't see. I don't see what's racist about it. White people yeah. with dreads. Uh, specifically, uh, Jen mentions cultural appropriation. Question mark. Well. Cultural appropriation comes from envy, not from hatred. Or from I know opportunity. Some, I know. They want to be down. They want to be like us. Hence, they change their hair to look like us. Now, if they were to do it and then say, this is our thing and not yours anymore. Yes, that's a whole other thing. But in general... White people with dreads? Funny. Not racist. Not racist. Not racist. I did yep. see something about a white woman marketing, essentially, hair bonnets under a different name as though she invented them. Yes. That's, now that is dumb. Is dumb. <laughs> Not racist. Mm-hmm. Not racist. Just kind of stupid. <laughs> very stupid very uh, but opportunistic on on the subject of white people with dreads that that does touch on another case that i would submit to the is it racist judge and i i submit to you this evidence uh adrian brody hosted saturday night live and i'll try to put up a picture of Adrian Brody here. This is what Adrian Brody looks like. Right. The musical guest on that episode was Sean Paul. And when Adrian Brody introduced Sean Paul on the show, he came out like this and did a fake patois. Yeah, but that is not a white man with dreads. (laughs) It's a white man with the dread wig. Exactly. That is racist. It, hey. If he actually had real dreadlocks, yeah, it wouldn't have been. Exactly, you have to but be when you about break out the dreadlock wig, right? You the know lock, something's about the, to happen, right? There's a reason why it's called a lock. It's it's yeah, that's it's, there on your head. You have to be about this life. Mm-hmm. All right, Not so we have our we have a quick ruling on that one. Yep, from the is a racist easy, judge. Man. This is easy. Yeah. We're moving through this docket. All right. This stuff is easy. Is that it? Yeah. Is that is that everything we have for, for this week? We we will we will bring back the wig and the gavel. Now Randy uh, Randy week. Reese asked on uh on uh on YouTube, is that ignoring white Jamaicans? No, because they probably if they got the dreadlocks, whatever. I don't care. Right. They'd like wigs, however out of nowhere, just sort of randomly to introduce the 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 uh, the, the, the reggae stinger? Mm, no. Mm. no. That's why uh, Adrian Brody is banned from being on Saturday Night Live ever again. That's why? Yes. Wow. <laughs> that's a... Yeah, you know what? Wait, that was really? Dead. Isn't that... Wouldn't that be like the writer's fault? No, it wasn't just, the writer's. So he, he did just, that he just, on, on his, his own. own. He wasn't supposed to, you know... He, he he was instructed to say, ladies and gentlemen, Sean Paul. And he just came out like that to everyone's surprise. Oh, and wow. did his thing. Oh, right. gosh, that's extremely yeah. distasteful. Yeah. And, the, and, yeah. The, and, the, and, the, and to bring that thing up about uh, white Jamaicans, I know several white Jamaicans, and they do have authentic patois mm-hmm. as, their, as their speech. That's... So not this contrived nonsense that yeah. Adrian Brody did. Yo, the, the greatest thing I've ever seen in life was uh, a Chinese guy with a the Jamaican Chinese guy and his patois. And I was, hey, yo, you want to, you want to, you want to catch a curveball for a minute and be like, wait, what just happened? Hold on, what's happening? Actually, my favorite, uh, one of my favorite Jamaican spots in Miami is um, is a Chinese Jamaican restaurant. Yes, oh, that, that Chinese is Jamaican. So yummy. It's all, it's all Chinese people from Jamaica. Yes. All these Chinese guys, Chinese folks with with. 
thick Jamaican accents. And the that food makes is fire. Exactly. The food is fire. Are you, uh, hey, anti-racist judge. Yes. Is it racist? Sorry. Is it racism, judge? Uh, yes. Are you familiar with a 50-year British time capsule that was opened a little while back? Ooh, I am uh, not. I Tell me more. I, I submit to How you. How many ghosts came out this, of it? Yeah, this situation. A uh, so I think some sort of British military officer goes ceremoniously and on live video or whatever to this chest that's been a fifty-year time capsule to open it and see uh, what's going on. And uh, the first thing that he pulls out. And puts back real quick is here we go. Uh, let me show you because I don't know how to how describe. Oh boy! Yeah. Oh boy! Right. Ooh, a gollywog. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm. That's... that you know. Yeah, he, he, at least he, he he recognized right away and started saying, "Ooh, that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate." <laughs> unfortunate. And he just put like yeah. throws it back into the trunk. <laughs> yeah, go back to fifty years ago. You that, go. You see that? <laughs> Here's what makes that funny. That thing is this this time capsule is mm -hmm. my age. <laughs> yeah, I'm time no, capsule. Actually, my my okay. If you ever get a chance to see. Tales from the Hood Part Two mm -hmm. is probably the best depiction of the Gollywog ever. Mm. I do th uh, I think I recall that. Yeah, I'm not the, sure what that is. Haunted Gollywog doll, mm -hmm. <laughs> in a in a that happens to be in like a racism museum. <laughs> no racism museum. Yeah, all right, that sounds like fun. I'd watch that. <laughs> um, that uh, yeah, person, yeah, this girl decides she wants to take the gollywog home, and uh, it does not end well. No, too much bad you do. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Your racism judge is gonna get in a little trouble on this one. Uh -oh. <laughs> yes. Oh. Rose up. Oh no! It was so. They did. Like, it, yeah. They got, got in trouble. They got censored. Yep. They all. Real fast. Yep. I did. Oh my god. They shut me down. <laughs> yes. Uh no. Um it, it it took me a little a little bit of time to to redo to overturn my own ruling, original ruling of not racist on uh Schwartz Pete. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. It, it Schwartz Pete. Yeah, mm. Schwartz Pete for me was like what the fuck? <laughs> but but it didn't originally feel racist. It was like it, because you don't have a history of this. Wait, who does not have a history of it? it like the, <laughs> yeah. because there was no yeah. the, Dutch, the, Dutch, the Dutch have the their own history. history. No, the, Dutch, yeah. uh, the Dutch in general don't know anything. <laughs> but I'm talking about like, and this is why I overturned my ruling. Not I because I didn't. I wasn't thinking. All I was thinking was like. Uh, the history of black of American blackface minstrel minstrelsy minstrelsy. Mm -hmm. I didn't minstrelsy. know that that, he, that, he, that it was around in you know, mm -hmm. however long ago when they created Farts Pete, right? <laughs> and so the origin of 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 of, of Pete was like say, all right. He did. He definitely said that. He yes. said Farts Pete. I love it. <laughs> So his origin, like the way it was described to me, was like he was an elf and went down the chimney first, so Santa wouldn't get coal on on him, and it wound up on his face. Like, I guess, but I I think it's something they should have let go of, like a long time ago. Uh, I don't know. It, it, yeah. Well, it's 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 that it's just that one of that. That story that you tell, you said about the elf was sort of a retcon. Okay, see, and that's a, and that's I also found that out later as well. I was like, oh, oh, okay, all right. So the oh, okay, mm. the retconned Pete. 
all right. Yeah, they really and then kind of, uh, to, to out about the, the origins of people. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Okay. Well, okay, so I need to let that one so, go. So you are uh, reversing a previous ruling on that. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And, reversing uh, that ruling. We can, we can uh, move on uh, with the docket. Uh, yes. Let's, I feel like uh, I need to get you one of the wood blocks, too, because we should have each ruling be accompanied by the gavel. Yes. At the announcement. Of yes. I'm actually hitting it on my uh, <laughs> on the cape for my, my microphone. <laughs> Uh, all right, here's a uh, uh, next up uh, submitted to the Is It Racist Judge. Uh, this advertisement for the Dunkin' Donuts Charcoal Donut. Oh, Lord. Charcoal Donut. Sounds bad. I don't understand how that's an advertisement for a donut at all. Uh, what the I gotta, hell? I wish that? I could zoom out on it. I don't know what if I can. You can. Sh- you should be able to share your screen if you want to. What the? I don't know yeah, what the heck that's okay. supposed to be. Hold Although on. kudos to Wait. you for keeping making things your background. That's fun. <laughs> yeah. So Yo, that's a nice, um, nice workaround. Let's see if I can just share a screen on this. What? This is a real ad. Yes, apparently. In what year? <laughs> I do not know that. Um, the prosecution has not done uh, adequate research here. I don't know. So, I need um, the city of Boston to explain this. <laughs> <laughs> Did Marky Mark have something to do with this? You know, I'm starting to feel like there's just like like they're trying to continue using people in black and be like, well, look, it's not meant this way. It's just the idea of charcoal is black. And then people, we have to mm-hmm. dis- like, like it, it, they're trying to just ignore the idea of it. Right. And they're like, well, no, we can just use it no, for they're this. Not. No, they're not. Like we can use it for this and then it's not racist. Right. They're, they're playing. Cool. Now, Oh, we got some real-time fact-checking. Uh, oh. I'm Curious Mob says it's from 2013. Wow. Thank you. Oh, uh, I, I Am Curious Mob, by the way, is a former, is a, is a former sea monkey slash oh, yeah. Joko Knox. Uh, so. uh, actually commented in the chat that uh, she was doing sea monkey so hard. Mardi Gras monkey beads were involved. Yeah. Um, nice. I'm not. I'm not so sure. Actually, I see a message in the YouTube from our friend uh, Benjamin Southard. I'd have to. They're asking, would we do be able to do a bluegrass Cajun variation of Sam B's "Who Do You Voodoo" from Dead Island? I'm not sure. I'm not very familiar with that song. I'd have to first listen to the song first because uh, I have a lot of Haitian family. And I have to make sure it's not disrespectful. Smart move. Smart move. Well done. Mm-hmm. Um, is that racist? What? The the charcoal and donuts? First of all, what the fuck is a charcoal donut? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all What's need to that? stop putting like, charcoal I in. I think that's a, that's a bigger question. <laughs> Y'all need to stop <laughs> putting charcoal in stuff. Charcoal is not a, a, de- a donut related thing. Charcoal right, is so meant to prepare food. It is not. Is it racist? Is getting superseded by why did you even do this in the first place? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's just dumb. Mm. Not racist, just stupid. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's racial. Can something be racial and stupid without being racist? Yes. Yes. It most certainly can. That, yeah, is, uh, that is the distinction what, I think the racism what, uh, judge is going to be making that's what a, a lot good here. majority. That's what a good majority of, of stuff is now. For that, that, like, that, that's how I'm feeling a lot. Like, like you, you just weren't thinking. Like, it's not, some of them were. Some people were like, oh, no, I'm going to get my racism. That's fine. Um, for example, um, the other are night. You saying that, are you saying that they're accidental racists? 
so the other night, um, Dawn Staley's uh, South Carolina Gamecocks won their third national championship. Uh, Dawn became the you know, the first black coach in college basketball to win three national champions. The first, men's and women's. Um, and CNN, the way they posted it was like, uh, what did it say? What did it say? What did it say? What did it say? Oh, like, uh, you know, South Carolina wins that beats Iowa, but had a picture of Iowa because, you know, Caitlin Clark, who is the all time, the all time point scorer in the NCAA in college basketball, which is a, a thing. Yeah, that's cool. Which but is I, a I have a thing. question though. How many championships has she won? Zero. Okay, and that, I just wanted and, to see. And, no, and, 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 and I'm getting there. I'm getting there. So, <laughs> like, it was like South Carolina won. They won the game. And the picture was like Caitlin Clark. And I'm like, Ugh. there are there are so many ways y'all could have done that. And you, this is the route you chose, right? And I get the idea is that, you know, Caitlin Clark is the safest, the safest athlete in sports that, that that's quite possibly that sports has ever had, right? Has ever had. She's safe and she's good. They tried to do this. Uh, safe thing in Mary Lou Retton. Yeah, yeah, okay. You're on that level. But if you have a Mary Lou Retton, she won. Yeah, um, Mary Lou Retton actually won championships. Um, They tried to do this the same thing years ago with... uh, Who was the blonde tennis star that... Uh, uh, she was really hot and everybody wanted to make her... Sharapova? Yes. Tried to make her... Sure, uh, you know... Uh, Serena Williams' rival. Serena Williams got more chips than anybody. She she's the most thing. decorated athlete of any sport. <laughs> like she got more chips than anybody. I think I think I think Federer might be the only person in tennis that has more Grand Slam wins. I be, I think it might be Roger Federer, and only by like one or two. And it's like, like I get it. You know, you 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 want to be you want to be in charge and you want to be, but goddamn yeah, corner cover. That's what it was, and a, and a corner cover. Thank you, John, on on YouTube. And a corner cover, gorgeous, gorgeous girl. Oh my god, she was stunning, and they wanted to have, put her on everything. She couldn't win. She didn't win nothing. Serena won every tennis thing there ever was. She won the tennis match on my block. She won <laughs> tennis matches on the moon. She won she tennis everywhere. Did she oh, win tennis space name. jam? Yes, she won tennis space jam. Monstars came and gave them gave the monsters all the powers of like um, Pete Sampras and uh, John McEnroe and uh, <laughs> Martina Navratilova and Billie Jean King, and she kicked all of their asses. And then she woke up. No, she didn't. She came <laughs> back with the trophy. She got it in her house. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like, I get it. Like, all right, and Caitlin Clark is dope. Caitlin Clark is a ball. Yo, Deacon Ball. Caitlin Clark could probably start on at least two NBA teams. I'm not gonna lie. At least two of them would not be would be all right with her starting. Okay. Okay, which one? Um, you let's see, right team? now, probably Detroit. So Detroit is trash right now. Um and who else is trash right now? Maybe Utah, maybe the Jazz. Um, which would fit. Like she could be their next John Stockton. Like if, if I feel if like I Utah tomorrow, is the least Utah likely Jazz, to be okay with that. Clark, I wouldn't even get mad. I mean, I guess that makes sense because they don't play D anymore. Yeah, I would like if they if they I, I I wouldn't get mad if somebody drafted her. Would not get mad. But 
I tell you what, before the Sixers signed uh, Nick Nurse to be their coach, I wanted them to get Dawn Staley so bad, I would, yo, this town would go crazy if Dawn Staley was the Sixers coach. Yo, oh, my God. On, she would do it for the love of the city. Because Dawn is low. Dawn she, is so Philly. She's Philly, Philly. She was wearing like, Philly's gear. She's wearing Eagles gear at her team. own games. On the sideline with an Eagles jersey on, like not even if, the team that she's playing, that she's coaching. She's wearing the jersey, an Eagles jersey. If she, if the Sixers hadn't dra- hadn't got Nick Nurse, and they called up Dawn Staley and was like, "Hey, Dawn, you know what I'm saying?" I wouldn't have got mad. Would not have gotten mad. Would have loved it. Mm-hmm. Would have loved it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap up the is it racist judge to try to give you a challenge. Okay. And go with something that might, uh, you know, not be obvious at all. Uh-oh. So uh, for your next case, uh, I, I submit to you. I'm going to do this as a background again. Okay. I w- I'm going to submit to you. Is it racist? Yeah. That's AI, right? Nothing with Beaker could ever be racist. <laughs> Beaker's amazing, and nothing with Beaker could ever be racist. Me, 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 me. Nope. Okay. I feel like nope. that sounds like a challenge. Beaker's the shit. I'm <laughs> yeah. about to beat the cat. <laughs> Don't beat the cat. I won't beat the cat. Yo, you know what's wild, though? Uh, somebody was talking earlier about some of the crazy stuff going on in in in, J- in Japan. Uh, the popular tanning, uh, the most popular tanning franchise in Japan is called Blackie, um, which is wow. Yeah. Have you seen the uh, the uh, the the Asians with with the afros now? Yeah, they're doing afros and in. Uh, they do afros and and. and- yeah, like it, it, yo, it's a, it's a, it's a, it is a, is it, is that like a reverse process? It's like the perms that they were doing back in the seventies. Like, um, was it dude Bob Ross? Because Bob Ross had like a ridiculous fro, but that wasn't his hair texture. It wasn't. No, it was not. He started doing that because he only I only know this because I, I don't know. I, much like many subjects, I ended up diving way too deep into Bob Ross lore. And he started perming his hair because he thought it would make his grooming routine easier if he could just, you know, pick it out and go. Okay. And he and he ended up sticking with it because it was the way people recognized him. All right. Not even mad at that. Nope. Bob Ross, not racist. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's it's hard to find someone as, you know, calming <laughs> yeah, as Bob it's, Ross. It's, it's still not racist as Bob Ross. Nope, nope, nope. Bob uh, Ross, not racist. Hold thank up. you. Is it racist, Judge? Yes, thank You're you. You're very welcome. Your rulings today. And thanks to everybody in the welcome. in the chat. We do have a couple um, late entries. We will save mm-hmm. those. Uh, Josh E. G. And, and other friends, we will save those for next week because the Is It Racist Judge is going to be back uh, <laughs> m- many, many times. Here you go, oh. Rich, if, in case you wanted to use that as a background image. Oh, dear. <laughs> so, um, so sorry for the connection problems tonight. I am coming to you from Montreal, mm. so I'm, I'm running the stream out of, out of, a, out of a, some random internet connection in Montreal. So thanks for hanging in for that part. And uh, we've got Arslan, the voice of reason, a.k.a. the racism judge. We've got yeah, yeah. Dolio the Sleuth. They're both coming in to you from Philly. Got Wrench coming in from mm-hmm. Wrench Audio in Brooklyn. Brooklyn! <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, so we will... Um... By the way, Joshy G, um, I, we don't know how to tell you to show up on time next show because... We never know. We just kind of <laughs> pop up randomly. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure you yeah. make sure you follow the channel and subscribe to all mm -hmm. notifications. We don't do so much that you're going to get blasted out with notifications. Um, mm -hmm. So definitely subscribe to all notifications on the YouTube channel and uh, you will find out when we're when we're coming on next. A, a lot of times it's a Wednesday night, um, but sometimes it's a Tuesday or a Thursday you know, or we're not at all. We're trying to keep it the Wednesdays because it makes more sense. It's like on average a Wednesday night. <laughs> on average. On average. On average, it's a Wednesday. <laughs> it's a Wednesday average. Yeah. And, you know, just despite the ruling, I may still avoid calling Tuscan Raiders sand people. Just That's abundance okay. of caution. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm avoiding it mostly because of South Park. <laughs> In South Park, they actually started using it as a racial slur. <laughs> mm -hmm. See, well, I'm me in South Park. I got issues in South Park. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. She never fucked with South Park. Know, you know, some, they don't always nail it. They don't Sometimes always nail it. Sometimes they're a little it. off. Sometimes I, they I do like nail about, it. What I like about them is that they're, they try as much as they can to distribute, distribute the hatred evenly. <laughs> There hasn't, I haven't, I haven't quite seen any any uh, um, target that they would avoid. Point. Except for the one they they almost avoided it because of fear. Ah uh, yes. Yeah. All but right. They still, uh, they still. still and that was the it. one that actually lost the chef, right? No. Oh. They didn't try to avoid that one at all. Oh. Okay. They went head on into that one. This is also cryptic. We might have to get more yeah. more detailed on this. Well, well, <laughs> we're going to have to get into this that next episode. Gangster watch party. <laughs> <laughs> That'll get us muted for sure. Oh, no. We're not going to broadcast it. That means <laughs> something we do on tour. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so speaking of tour, make sure you get your tickets for the upcoming shows. We've got Roanoke, May 16th. We've got Bloomington, Illinois, May 19th. We've got Lexington, Kentucky, May 20th, Lexington. you can find all those at uh, gangstagrass.com slash events. And uh, we're also, as, as has been mentioned, coming to Italy. And there's, there's a few more announcements coming soon. I can't say anything yet. I think they're not announcing until uh, tomorrow or the next day. The next day, well, Friday. There's, there's going to be a bunch of stuff coming out on Friday. So thank yes. you, Joshy G, for the, for the follow and clicking all the, all the, um, all the notifications. That is the way to find out what's coming out and to see the brand new Gangsta Grass video, Up High Do or Die, coming out this Friday. And, and, new single. and also, Up do High we, Do or is, Die. Is there, a, in, in, how soon can people pre-order the album? You can pre-order it right now. Go to gangstagrass.com slash pre-order and you can pre-order mm -hmm. the album right now. And please do, because it, it really does matter. Those pre-orders make, make a big difference, as you know, or maybe you don't, Gangsta Grass was the very first band and the only band in history to bring real hip hop MCs to the number one slot on the Billboard Bluegrass chart. And the way that yep. that happened, the way that these guys right here made history on the Billboard Bluegrass chart is because of people buying Oops. physical albums, pre-ordering those to, physical albums, and that all gets counted at the same time. We had to do sexual favors for the right people. That's not true. Nothing but no, no, untoward right. happened. CDs. Buying CDs. All, That's definitely how we did it. Buy the CDs <laughs> yes. and it's the like, vinyls. The vinyl's very pretty. Wait, we didn't have to do that? <laughs> <laughs> on that note <laughs> so, oh also shout out to adobe and teardrops for the the mm -hmm. really dope article you guys put out mm -hmm. um the interview with us uh, about the first single we dropped um off this album that yeah. is coming out the blackest thing on the menu yeah the blackest so, thing on the menu yeah so so far there's two songs out the only way out is through featuring the great 15-time grammy winning three-time country music awards musician of the year jerry douglas on dobro and uh good at being bad a very funky track with some very sexy mandolin and that was recorded at royal studios with co-produced by boo mitchell the legend 
So check out both of those, Boom Mitchell. Check out both of those and uh, and get ready with those notifications on across all the socials and especially on the, the YouTubes and the Twitches and all of those things, the Facebooks and all of that, wherever you happen to like to get your content. Uh, because this this Friday, Up High Do or Die is coming out. And then in another month, you'll get to see that music video that was just filmed this uh, this last week. So really excited. A lot, a lot of good stuff coming out. And you can pre-order The Blackest Thing on the menu at gangstergrass.com slash pre-order. Yeah. By the way, make sure you, uh, if you're doing any delving into history, understand why... Um, Judicial systems were so harsh um, back in the day. It's because these wigs really hurt, and the judges was all angry. And I have they, a good night. Didn't they also use like animal fat to, uh, instead of because they didn't have hair gel? And they were very know, itchy. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ, that should hurt. Me. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you, Judge. Glad. <laughs> we're glad we did not have to live in the past as a judge. Yep. Thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> you are very welcome. Yes. Good night, well, everybody. Get weaved, just get it weaved in. No, I won't. <laughs> okay. Good night, kids. Good night. Y'all be cool.